Hi, I'm Rebecca and I'm one of the property managers at Southside and I'm here just to tell you about what will happen on the day where you collect your keys and your tenancy begins. So prior to this day, you will have been sent an email from PingSign. This will have your tenancy agreement in it. You must make sure you click the link and have this signed before you arrive. You will also have been sent an application accepted email, which will have any rent and deposit required before your start date. Again, this is important that you've done this before you arrive to save you waiting around at the front of the office. Key collection office is at 30 Nicholson Square. So if you just head there any time between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. on the day that your tenancy starts. If you want to collect at a later date, this is also fine. Just be sure to make sure you've told your property manager. Also, if you're not available to collect the keys yourself, it is okay to send a friend or family member to collect on your behalf. However, it's important that you email your property manager to let them know exactly who's coming and make sure you tell the person to bring photographic ID with them. If it's yourself who's collecting the keys, you also need to bring photographic ID and make sure it's ready for us when we come to meet you at the front. It will either be your own property manager if they're available or if they're out of the office on the day that you arrive, you'll be greeted by one of the other members of the team. They'll give you a welcome bag from us, which will have some essentials that might help you settle in and a tenant welcome booklet. That's really all there is to your move-in date. The main thing to take away from this is make sure you turn up with your property reference code and that your agreement has been signed and your rent has been paid because with these three things your handover will be quite smooth and fast otherwise it could be hanging about at the front.